How to install the ID Seal Constab Eliminator. Warning Failure to follow Continental's installation instructions could result in escaping gas that could ignite and cause property damage, serious injury, or death. These are the tools and supplies you'll need for this installation. Each ID Seal Constab Eliminator comes shipped in a bag with printed installation instructions. If the instructions are printed on the outside of the bag, be sure you open the bag at the top, being careful not to tear the instructions. Remove the saddle from the bag, taking care not to allow dirt to contaminate the elastomeric seals. This bag contains the saddle top, the saddle bottom, and four mounting bolts. The use of Continental's T-Wrench tapping tool is recommended to help make the process faster and easier. Verify that the eliminator saddle main size matches the thermoplastic gas pipe main size and verify that the eliminator outlet size is the correct size for the polyethylene service. The elastomeric seals of the eliminator saddle should not be installed over cuts or scratches in the plastic gas pipe. The area where the eliminator saddle is to be installed must be cleaned to remove dirt, grease, or other contamination. Place the saddle bottom onto the main, then the saddle top, joining them together by hand. Insert the bolts through the saddle top to engage the threads in the saddle bottom. Tighten the bolts in a crisscross pattern, making sure the saddle does not rotate or slip around the pipe. Tighten the bolts until the flanges of the saddle come together along the outer edge. The flanges of the saddle may not come together next to the pipe. Bolt torque should not exceed 120 inch-pounds. Cut the pipe ends square and make sure the pipe ends are free of dirt, grease, or oils in the assembly areas. Chamfer the end of the pipe using either Continental's ID chamfer tool with gauge or Continental's double-ended ID chamfer tool. If using the ID chamfer tool with gauge, Check for proper chamfer by inserting the pipe onto the gauge up to the O-ring. With a proper chamfer, the O-ring will begin to enter the pipe. Marking the stab depth can be done either by using the chamfer tool or by using the shoulder on the stab outlet. Stab the pipe completely into the fitting so that the mark is within 1 8 inch from the fitting entrance. To assure proper assembly and to comply with Title 49, Code of Federal Regulation 192, Subpart J, test requirements, the joint shall be leak tested. Pressure testing can be done through Continental's test cap or pressure test through the service. Note, it is advisable to limit shear at main connections. In this regard, your company's policy should be followed. For further information, reference ASTM D2774 Standard Practice for Underground Installation of Thermoplastic Pressure Piping. Code of Federal Regulations, Title 49, Transportation Part 192, AGA Plastic Pipe Manual, and or the Guidance Manual for Operators of Small Gas Systems by the U.S. Department of Transportation. It is recommended that Continental's T-Wrench be used for tapping the main. Take care to use the proper hex drive end. One end is for 2-inch IPS and smaller mains, and one end is for 3-inch IPS through 6-inch IPS mains. Insert the proper end of the hex drive key into the punch. Screw the punch down until the stop on the drive key contacts the top of the saddle tee. The tap is now complete. To allow flow through service, back the punch up until the top of the punch is flush with the top of the saddle tee. It is important that the punch does not protrude above the top of the saddle tee. Verify that the O-ring is in the cap. Install the cap on the saddle hand tight. Do not use wrenches to tighten the cap. The installation is now complete.